Hey, what's happening guys? Hope you all are doing well. This is Tito back with another video. And today in this video, I will show you how to install the Dart Unicorn Strong based on Android 8.1 on Redmi Note 3. And let's see how is it. So without further any more delay, let's make it happen. Okay, so ROM and GApps links are in the description box below, so do not worry. And before proceeding, make sure you have officially unlocked bootloader, latest official TWRB recovery installed, and be aware that you are doing everything on your own risk. And little off topic here, just today, APK Real Spotify users received this email. So I would say you should stop using this modded Spotify app, but as of now, it still works fine. So let's begin. As you can see, I am on latest official Nitrogen OS right now and I have downloaded the ROM and GApps file already. So let's put into TWRP recovery. And for your information guys, official 8.1 GApps is out right now and yes, it works with all the 8.1 based ROMs and I would recommend you flashing ARM64 8.1 micro GApps. As you can see, I am using official TWRP 3.2.1 0 here. So now hit wipe, advanced wipe, now select cache, Dalvik cache, system and data. Now swipe to wipe, as usual. Once done, go back, go back, go to install, locate the ROM and GApps file on your storage. And as you can see, I am using official ARM64 8.1 micro GApps here. So select the ROM file and the GApps file. Now swipe to confirm flash. Once the flashing is done, hit reboot system. Here is a boot animation of this ROM. It just shows Android. And as we are booted up into the system, let me complete the setup process. So we have launcher 3 as default launcher here and this is quite like pixel launcher. These are the stock apps this ROM comes preloaded with except for the UC browser, WhatsApp and Pixart. As you can see tap and hold functionality works fine here. Here is the launcher settings, have a look if you are into it. And do note that I tried installing modded pixel launcher here but it could not replace this launcher 3. I mean this launcher 3 is already taking place of the pixel launcher like pixel experience ROM. You can change the icon shapes from here and customize the launcher as you like. Plenty of options for that. Now let me jump into the about section of this ROM. As you can see based on Android 8.1 Oreo. And this is the 2nd March 2018 build by the way. And stock kernel over here is candy kernel. I am yet to test out the battery life of this ROM. Once I do that, I will post it on Twitter. So do follow me there from the descriptions. So now let's go back and let's jump into display settings. Here as you can see, we have night light option, which works fine as you can see. And we have adaptive brightness option. We have screen of animation, which are CRT and scale. Let me show you. As you can tell, this is the same thing which is present on the Resurrection Remix ROM. So that's awesome. And now we have background color option, which is the UI color option, I guess. Let me set it to dark. And as you can see, the whole UI turned dark and it looks awesome and you can change the accent color from here to these many options but I like this pixel blue color already so I am not changing it and let me reduce the display size to small. Here are the quick toggles, have a look if you need to. And now let me go back. Let's see what else is inside battery. 
just normal stuff nothing special and now let's jump into customizations everything lies inside this dirty tweaks option in settings and as you can tell already this area looks different from all the other roms on the bottom we have five categories which are system lock screen status bar navigation and multitasking so now let me dig in first in system we have expanded desktop i don't need it so now let's jump into power menu from here of course you can enable advanced reboot this screen looks a little dim to me when we are in the power menu and for the lock screen you can choose the power menu to show up or not and even the advanced reboot option again let's jump into the lock screen now here we have fingerprint vibration option normal stuff next is lock screen items from here you can enable clock date and alarm widget and bottom shortcuts double tap to sleep on the lock screen is present here and media cover art to show up on the lock screen or not next is status bar we have these many options so let's jump into battery option first we have the battery icon style you can change it to portrait landscape circle dotted circle you can select the battery percentage to show up outside or inside and you can change large icon type from here as you can see next is carrier label option you can select it for normal and lock screen both but i am gonna leave it lock screen only next is clock customizations you can enable date option and am pm font size and stuff like that next is icon manager from here you can enable 4g icon instead of lte you can enable dirty unicorns icon to show up on the status bar like this and we have status bar icons which are headset hotspot bluetooth etc next we have notifications after that we have quick settings panel from here you can enable auto brightness icon quick pull down and you can customize column numbers of quick toggles next we have traffic indicators i don't need it so moving on in navigation we have buttons so from here you can customize home menu or back button actions let me customize home button long press action to google assistant and you can enable or disable backlight of buttons and even set the backlight timeout like this i set it at 5 seconds next we have navigation bar here is how it looks like i don't use on screen buttons so let me disable it anyway moving on we have multitasking customizations here we have heads up so yeah you can disable heads up notification if you want from recents you can enable clear all button as you can see and we have notification ticker option if you want that and in the three dots on the top right corner we have the team from here you can have a look of each developers of this rom so huge thanks to them here is a demo of Geo 4G Vault calling working. Here is a demo of Quick Face Unlock. Yes, it works flawlessly as you can see. Let me try it couple more times. All right. So only complaints that I have over here are 1. There is no double tap to sleep option on the status bar, although it's present on the lock screen. Number 2. There is no sliding a finger for adjusting the brightness option in this ROM yet. Well yeah, it's an unofficial build and we should expect it to get better in future updates. And now let me open up a few apps to show you guys the RAM management of this ROM. And in the meantime, let me show you some pictures that I shot with GC Mod 5 on this ROM. This is with HDR Plus Enhanced Mode and looks quite amazing. Even if we zoom in, 
As you can see, all the colors are popping very well. None of these photos are edited. Here is a picture of some flowers with HDR plus enhanced mode. Zooming in. And here is one more picture with HDR plus enhanced mode again. And it came out pretty well. Let me zoom in. Once more. And here are two portrait selfies that I shot. And here are the benchmarks of this ROM if you are into that. In my frank opinion, of course, if you compare it with ROMs like Resurrection Remix on Nitrogen OS, that wouldn't be fair. Because they are official, this one is not. But I really am liking this ROM and don't get me wrong, this is not too bad. The performance of this ROM seems good enough for daily driving, but yes, it heats up a little bit with heavy usage and the RAM management is pretty good too. As you can tell from here, all the apps were in memory, but yeah, Nitrogen OS is still holding number one spot as my most favorite ROM. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And yes, I am testing the battery life of this ROM, I will be posting it on Twitter later tonight. So follow me on Twitter from the descriptions below. So that wraps up this video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the big thumbs up button if you like this video and subscribe to the channel right here if you loved my work. This has been Tato. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye now.